Geometry homework problems 12, 13, and 14. Here we go. Solve. X minus 3 over 5 equals X plus 6 over 2. Well, I'm going to start out by cross multiplying. X minus 3 over 5 is equal to X plus 6 over 2. 2 times X minus 3 should be equal to 5 times X plus 6. Two times x is two x. Two times negative three is negative six. Is equal to five times x is five x. Five times six is thirty. Two x on this side. Five x on this side. This one is bigger. So I subtract two x from each side. Two x minus two x is zero. That leaves me with negative 6 is equal to 5x minus 2x is 3x plus 30. I want x all by itself, so now I subtract 30 from each side. Negative 6 minus 30 is negative 36 is equal to 3x plus 30 minus 30 is 0, 3x. So now I can divide both sides. This is multiply, so I divide both sides by 3. Negative 36 divided by 3 is equal to 3 over 3 times x. Negative 36 divided by 3, negative 12 is equal to x. Now, do I how do I check and know I'm right? I substitute into the original equation. Negative 12 minus 3 over 5. Is that equal to negative 12 plus 6 over 2? Negative 12 minus 3 is negative 15 over 5 is equal to negative 12 plus 6 is negative 6 over 2. Negative 15 divided by 5 is negative 3. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 is equal to negative 3. So this is correct and I can prove it. What's next? Problem 13. John rents a car for $85 a week plus 26 cents a mile. How far can he travel on a budget of $215 in one week? Okay, what does it cost? Well, let x equal the number of miles John can drive the total cost is going to be equal to eighty five dollars a week plus twenty six cents times the number of miles he drives. However, he cannot spend more than $215 in one week. So $215 has to be less than or equal to 85 plus 0.26 times x. Okay, now what? Well, now I subtract $85 from each side. 215 minus 85. 
215 minus 85 is 130 should be less than or equal to 0 0.26 times x. So now if I divide both sides by 0.26, 130 divided by 0.26. If I use my calculator to figure this out, that will give me x, the maximum number of miles John can drive. Do it on your own calculator. Here we go. Find the domain and the range for the graph. What's the graph look like? Here it is. Okay, now domain is all the input values. So, what is the smallest x we have? Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. Can x be negative 6? No. So, x has to be bigger than negative 6, but it can go on forever. So x is greater than negative 6. My range is all possible values of y. So Can y be negative 4? No, y has to be bigger than negative 4. But again, it can go on forever. So y is greater than negative 4. We are done with our homework.